Hi, I'm Kristen Burt for Red Carpet Report. Tonight we're on the red carpet for the 2019 Performers Nominee Reception. Hey. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, Kristen, nice to meet you. Kristen, nice to meet you. Good, fantastic. So many good things happening in television. Yeah. For you, besides Barry, which is an incredible show, what is the best thing that's happening in television right now? Well, the best thing that's happening in television right now? Um, let me see, aside from Barry, um, I think, you know, Euphoria, I, I literally just, like I was in a hotel room watching it and I and I had like two days off and I kind of just locked the door and just watched Euphoria <laughs> from the beginning until the end. And I was like, I laughed, I cried, I was into it the, the entire time. It's visually stunning and I just, I loved it. I'm a big Zendaya fan, I have to be honest. Yeah. Oh, she's incredible, she's incredible. I mean, I hope she, she wins an Emmy for that because she really deserves it. Next Emmy cycle, maybe. Next Emmy cycle, absolutely. Yes, and I love that you're all company, HBO, that's very good. Yeah, oh for sure. Sure. I mean, it's, you know, they're, they're, they're putting out some good stuff, you know? They really are. Leading the way with the Emmys, too. Leading the way. That's right. With the nominations so far. The nominations, yes. Right, yes. yes. Nominations. Um, Let's not get ahead of ourselves. But you never know. Sunday never night could be a strong night. In terms of if you could change one thing about the television industry or improve something, what would that be? Um, I'm not sure. I, you know, I think, uh, I, you know, being an actor with alopecia is certainly something that's really cool. I, I really appreciate when I kind of, you know, see actors and, and um, you know, people who are kind of bringing what makes them unique to the forefront. And, uh, and I love seeing that. I love seeing interesting casting choices. I love seeing, you know, you know, uh, people who, you know, you would assume wouldn't be able to work in, you know, in this industry, just flourishing. That makes me happy. That's a good thing too, actually. So we won't change that. <laughs> we'll keep moving more into that direction, moving I think. more into that direction, 100%. Definitely. Um, one final question. Um, if we went and took a look at your HBO list, you're obviously watching Barry, you're watching Euphoria, yeah. what's your guilty pleasure? Because you know there's guilty pleasures on that HBO list. Oh, what's my guilty pleasure? Yeah, there's always one. Are you watching like Sex and the City reruns or um, Entourage? Let me see, Sex and City Entourage. Like, what are, what are the, uh, the deep cuts? I mean, listen, I'll dip back into the wire every so often. Because so it's like, it, it literally does not age. It's, it holds up, it's so good. You're right, 100%. It's not even a guilty pleasure. It's a deserving pleasure, right? It's a deserving pleasure. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Have an amazing time this Thank weekend. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and in the comments below, let us know who your favorite performance was of 2019.